What's up, Bug Brigade? Welcome to a Bug Catcher Carter Classic video where I unbox some Pokemon cards hot off the press. Uh, I got a very wonderful text this morning from a friend who said, I just happened upon the Walmart restocking and picked up a bunch of Pokemon cards. And then he asked if I'd like to buy them from him. And I, of course, said, yes, that'd be wonderful. It's been a while since I was able to pay just MSRP prices for Pokemon cards. And I have never happened upon the holiest of ceremonies in the Pokemon world, which is the shelf stocking. Uh, I'm not even sure I'm worthy to behold the shelf stocking, let alone enjoy the fruits of such a wonderful and rare event so shout out to vince thanks again for hooking me up let me show you what i'm working with here and uh then we'll open this up and hope we can pull something spicy so we have a shining fates pin set the poltergeist pin set pull this out here We got our fun little pin. We'll add that to the collection. A promo card here, Poltergeist Hollow. Pretty nice. And three Shining Fates booster packs. And a code card, if anyone's interested in that. I didn't do a great job of getting those clear in the camera last time, so hopefully I do better this time. We have a Pikachu Shining Fates box, which has a jumbo promo card, a regular promo card, Pikachu, and four Shining Fates boosters. That's an exciting one there. And we're so lucky we actually have two of those, so. Eight packs in total out of the Pikachu boxes. Here's a code card if anyone is interested or keeping track of those. Hopefully the bots don't get it. So yeah, another Pikachu. Let me just pop that one open real quick. Make sure I just got my jumbo sleeves in. I was excited about that. So now I can keep proper care of my jumbo cards because I never knew what to do with them before and then found out they have sleeves for jumbo cards you can buy them on Amazon I think it was like 10 bucks for 50 sleeves might have been a hundred it was a lot of sleeves excited about that here's another code if anyone's keeping track I don't know that I have any viewers to be honest with you I got one viewer out there what's up viewer then I also was able to get these two tins, Zashin and Zamazenta V tins, four booster packs in those, which I've already pulled out here. A couple Rebel Clash, Sword and Shield Evolutions pack, two more Rebel Clash, another Sword and Shield, and another Evo pack. So we'll be excited to do two Evo packs. And then four just loose blisters that come with either a randomly inserted card which could be an EX or a GX card. And we have Unified Minds, Ultra Prism, and then Sword and Shield Base Set. So that's all fun, fun stuff. We'll do those ones last. Let me make sure I got all the stuff I need. I think we just need sleeves. We should be good to go. And here's some sleeves. Let's crack these open. We'll start with Shining Fates. Just get the exciting stuff out of the way with. We have a total of... 11 packs of Shining Fates, and then we, we picked up these awesome promo Pikachus. Sleep those guys up, and the Poltegeist. Sleeve all that up, and let's rip. Here we go. Send me your best luck. We opened a couple of Shining Fates boxes the other day. The Crobat V and Dragapult V didn't have any luck, unfortunately. So maybe we'll fare a little better today. Unfortunately, this card has a white dot on it. So hopefully this isn't a good card, honestly. 
that would be that would be kind of bad luck because it's already imperfect and we love our shot at a good PSA 10 so here we go spinner rack Kufant Buzel and Greedent V so it was a V card but just a Greedent and I, I have no idea what this is but yeah it's not coming off that's like a print mark isn't it it's like a white dot is that what they look like it's yeah it's very circular and very round that could be just a misprint anyway I'm not gonna send in a greedent to get graded so that's probably okay I'll set these up so everyone can see them okie doke next pack takes me a second here to get all sorted sorry sorry for the delay dragapult pack art how are you guys enjoying the shining fates set has it been everything you dreamed it would be i think i've stated this in previous videos but personally it's not that the set's been lackluster just the overall experience of trying to find it has been so frustrating that it's kind of dulled it for me a little bit. Battle Styles is what I'm looking forward to most right now just because I pre-ordered some booster boxes. So I'll at least be able to get my hands on some product. Tropius. Thwacky. How do we get this thing to focus? Guys, I don't understand my camera, if I'm being honest with you. Sometimes it focuses and sometimes it doesn't. And right now it's one of those dozen times. Hello. That's frustrating. But life goes on. Grookey, Nicket, Choodle, more Pico, Horsey, a Ditto V. There you go. Not bad. Two V cards. Right off the right off the bat. Read it and a ditto. All right, there's our focus back. One, two, three, four. All right, let's see what we get here. Tropius, Ball Guy, Buzel, Morpico, Eevee, Rallet, Shinx, Sandaconda. There's a baby shiny right there. We'll take that. We'll take that. And Yan Mega for our rare. So this is a hit right here. Three hits. Three packs. Three hits. Doing much better this time around than we did the other day. So that's exciting. Dude, I don't know how these freaking streamers. These guys are pros. Lean Heart, Unlisted Leaf, Max Mofo. All these, man, these cats are good. This is much harder than it looks. You'd think just opening some pokey packs would be a walk in the park, but not so. There's so much to keep track of. So much to keep track of. Frosted caribou, they're good. I'm telling you, there's talent. There's real talent here. Don't sleep on it. More Pico. Raboot, baby shiny, and indeedy. So double hollow hit. Raboot, baby shiny. This is a sick card. Look at that. Sure. Just a fun, fun character. The whole um, Cinderace evolution line. Score Bunny, Raboot, Cinderace. They're fun. Uh, I think, is that the most popular of the starter Pokemon from Sword and Shield? I don't know. I haven't been paying that close of attention. It feels like nobody's into Rillaboom. Are there some Rillaboom stands out there that I don't know about? It just feels like the hype is either Cinderace. I think Cinderace is the most popular. People like making fun of Inteleon because he's so thin and human looking. Uh, but I don't hear anyone talk about Rillaboom, you know? And any publicity is good publicity, so... The fact that just nobody even mentions his name, it just doesn't feel like a good sign for the guy or gal. 
Maybe you guys like Rillaboom, though. I like Thwacky. Yeah, I do like Thwacky. I think Thwacky is my favorite one of that three Pokemon evolution chain. Don't know why. Could be the name Sobble. Another baby shiny hit. That's three in a row. Yo. These odds have been favorable. That's a cool card. Woo. Sobble. Sobble's funny because Sobble's always crying, right? Oh, another Indeedy. What do you know? Sobble's like sad. That's like its whole thing. I don't know who thought of that, but it's kind of funny. It's probably why they thought of it. Thought it'd be kind of clever, creative. We're just going to keep ripping through these Shining Fates packs. Got about six more left, and then we'll jump into some of the random blisters that we got. If you're here for the code cards, you're in luck. Check that out. Sick. That's a code if I've ever seen one, baby. I got codes on codes on codes. In fact, I probably have like, well, maybe I shouldn't say that. I have a lot of code cards that have gone unused. Maybe I'll do a stream where I just give those away at some point. We lost focus. We lost focus. Also, if you can see, I have our goal card right here. Ooh, that's a big finger. Check out that big finger. That is the wrong goal card for this video because I don't have any battle styles, but I'm keeping it there for just good juju and to confuse anyone who's watching the video. Actually, I probably should take that off, huh? It doesn't make any sense to have it there. Pause. We got to take away the gold card. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense with this set, bro. You blew it, man. Nobody wants to see that. Okay, check this out. It's gone. And we still are out of focus. Yeah, we're still out. Of oh, there we go. There we go. Close up. <laughs> Back it up, Spinarak. Personal space, bruh. Dreadnought. Oh, what a treat. Another Dreadnought for my Dreadnought collection that I hang on my wall. It's the pride of Utah, my my Dreadnought Pokemon collection. Man, there's gonna be some cleaning up to do after this video, isn't there? There's a code for ya. Enjoy it, don't spend it all in one place. Lightning Energy, Gym Trainer, Tropius, seen a lot of that. Tropius guy, Morpico, Joodle, Rollet. Trap Pinch, Coughing, Morpico, Boss's Orders. It's the Boss's Orders. We do what the Boss tells us to do. It's the Boss's Orders. All right. Another code for you. For anyone following along at home. How do you do that, by the way? You just screenshot that code, probably, I'm guessing. I've never been a code capturer. I'm sure there's an art to it. Kufant, Horsey, Cacnea, Morpico. Seen a lot of the same guys popping up. The Weevil. The Weevil. Hollow. All right. Seen quite a few hollows. Not mad about it. Would love to see something like. Actually, I don't know. Three baby shinies. Why am I complaining? I was going to say, I'd love to see full art shiny still would still wouldn't be mad about that but i just try not to be greedy pokemon gods do not they do not respond well to greed this is what i've learned this is what i've learned Ooh, elder gloss how close can we get before we focus oh that's how close check me out i got the focus though ball guy choodle more petco Cacnea, Horsei, Kufant, Cacnea, Weezing, Galarian Weezing, a tight card, a reprint though, seen that card before, I swear, it's in another set I think, what do I know, I'm an amateur, two more packs, Shining Fates, then we'll roll into some Rebel Clash, a couple evolutions, too much fun, too much fun on the stream, are you keeping up, 
you keeping up with this subdued energy level that I'm emitting? I hope so. Guys, I seriously can't figure out this freaking camera. There we go. Ooh, loud and clear. Loud and clear on that one. Close-up style. All right, here we go. Rodham. Hillary Rodham. Coughing. Horsey. Grookey. More Pepco. Spinnerack. Dardrix. Dardrix. What's up, bro? And oh, Pokey Kid, a full art trainer. Yo, check that out. That is tight. I thought it was a really cool Eevee, but then I saw that trainer at the top. I was confused. This is a cool card, though. I'm I'm digging it in person. It looks even better than it did online. Sweet. Definitely not one to be slept on here. Let's see how the back looks. Uh, it's okay. It's not bad. Yeah, I'll take it. Thank you, Poker Gods. I appreciate it. Oh, Jacoby89, I'm here for the men. I'm here for the ladies. Who's here for the ladies, by the way? You're in the wrong spot. Crazy dude 185. Yo, crazy dude 185, do I know you? I know Jacoby 89. I mean, that's the homie right there. We go way back. Glad we got three people watching. Six people have played it back. Yo, we're blowing up on this channel. Take note, is what I say. Give me a year. We'll be flying. We'll be top of the charts, boy. And then I'll launch this channel into my political commentary channel. That's been the plan all along. I'm saying it here so you don't call me lane switcher when it happens. Started Pokemon, ending in politics. Going to make a run for the White House. Just stay tuned. You can catch it all here first. Just be along for the ride. Yanma. Galarian Weezing. What the heck? Oh, Reverse Hollow Glaring Weezing and an Indeedee. So those Indeedees, if you guys are opening Shining Fates, I'd be curious to know how many Indeedees you got. So I'm sitting on a treasure trove of Indeedees. And uh, I don't need them. I don't need them. We definitely got our fair share of Indeedees, you know? It kind of creeps me out. It's kind of a little bit of a creep creep thing going on there. Don't know if I'm loving it all the way. I could be persuaded otherwise. Okay, let's get into this hotness over here. We'll do the four rebel clash, then the sword and shield base. Then we'll jump into the evolutions packs and pull out a Charizard. Huh? Huh? Anyone? Feel me? All right, here we go. There's a code card for you. That one was clear as can be. Just creeping, bro. I, hey, I respect the hustle. I respect the creep. A little radio head action in the chat. Nothing wrong with it. Magmar. Electabuzz. It's weird to see these old card arts. Not even that old. Just Rebel Clash. But it's like taking me back. You feel me? Age of Slash. It's a cool card. It's like a honeycomb. Honeycomb thing going on there. Ooh. Check me out. I got honeycomb. Why is there honeycomb with the sword guy? Don't know. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't have to. All right. That's one pack. What are we hoping to get in Rebel Clash, you might ask? Good question. Um, Frostmoth? Shiny? Gold Art? I think that's the best card in the set. But um, also, I think you have your Inteleon, Cinderace, Rillaboom. I think those come in this set in the Rainbow Rare style. Maybe. I think. Could be wrong on that. But let's find out together. Volpix, what a cutie. Phantom, far fetched. Mr. Mime, sir fetched. Phalanx. What's up, Phalanx? Are you one? Are you many? We don't know. It's part of the fun. Oh, man. Our hits. Our hit line. It's getting big. Sorry, camera. 
Sorry. Sorry, my friend. Two more packs of Rebel Clash. If you're just joining us, hit the jackpot at Walmart. Picked up some Shining Fates collection boxes. Also was able to find some tins. That's what these packs that I'm pulling right now came out of. Uh, Zamazenta V and Zashin V tin. You can read that right. And uh, so we're hoping for just some good luck, blister style. You never know what you're going to get unless you're kind of like pulling out of a booster box, in my experience. But we're in it together. We're finding out along the way. Another Honeycomb Age Slash. Second one. Second one in three packs. I don't know. Is it an omen? Oh, wait. I think I just figured that Pokemon out. Did did Aegis Slash get introduced in Sword and Shield? No. He's been around in Sun and Moon though, right? It would be such an interesting Pokemon to introduce in the Sword and Shield era. You feel me? But I don't even think that's when that guy came out. So that's why I'm confused. What was the inspiration for a Sword Pokemon? I just don't know. Dreepy and Alcremy. Okay, we're done with our Rebel Clash. We're moving on to base set Sword and Shield. Cards in here that we might be hoping to see are a Gold Zashin V, Gold Zamazenta V. Um, those are kind of the top of the pack for Chase. And then otherwise, a Snorlax V Max Rainbow Rare. That would be a sick one. I don't have it yet, so I would love to add that to the collection. And there's some other cool ones too, but we'll just kind of see what we hit. Only two packs. This is one of my favorite card arts. And there's another one. It's the Hitmon Chan with the Hitmon Lee on the other mountaintop. I love combo cards like that where the artistic styles tell a story. Love seeing it. Good job, Pokemon. Keep it up. Inteleon, Reverse Hollow, and Cinderace. So there you go. A couple of the OGs on this generation. Sleeve that guy up. I like seeing those. I got to say, though, as far as starters and, like, stage twos of starters go, these guys are interesting. They're very, like, oh, man, sorry, guys. There we go. Anthropomorphic. They're very human-esque. Like, compare Cinderace to Charizard. Cinderace is cool. It's like a bunny that plays soccer, but I'm not sure I'd be as scared to run across one in the wild as I would a Charizard. It's just me. Is that just me? Yo, Jacoby got eyes on it, boy. He's giving me the eye emoji. All right, here we go. Code, baby. Soak up the codes. Soak them up. Salazzle. Bye, Sharp. Chimichow. Gravy. Galarian Ponyta. Cottony. Ferrisseed. And Snorlax. Just regular Snorlax guy. All right, two Evolutions packs. Now, this is exciting because these packs, valued at over $10 a piece, came in a $20 tin, which thanks to my boy Vince, I was able to get from Walmart at MSRP price. So if I pull anything out of these packs, I could definitely make back all that was spent today. And there's a small chance if I pull a PSA 10 quality Charizard, could be looking at six seven thousand dollars that's real um unfortunately getting that card graded as a 10 it's near impossible due to print lines there's only about 100 or 200 in existence three cards to the front Ooh, almost messed that up you recognize this art it's a reprint set from the original base sets and uh it's not base set it's evolutions it was released in 2016 that the attacks have been altered to become relevant again in the in the game in the meta game and uh, but it's fun to see some of these arts that just take you all the way back just nostalgia style though duo tangela and chancy oh dude there's a good one is a good one what's it look like on the back baby centering looks nice what's the print line situation Hard to tell. Don't really see anything glaring. Anything glaring. Yo, that's a good one. Don't have this card from Evolutions. I mean, the Chansey 
in the original set one of the harder to pull cards and definitely an awesome card to pull even in the evolution set that's tight happy about it happy about it that's a hollow pull right there from one evolutions pack don't know what our value is there we can look it up here at the end one more pack here let's just cross our freaking fingers huh all right there you go bro one two three all right here we go kakuna matata full heel machoke charmander diglett drowsy caterpie do duo seal and starmie so there you go hey two packs pulled a hollow chancy i'm happy about that it's tight pretty tight we got four packs left and i just want to open these straight up out of the packaging with you because there's a loose card in here I have no idea what it's going to be could be an ex or a gx it's a reverse hollow sandaconda so really not too taken by it to be honest but putting it in the sleeve regardless so we got a sword and shield pack right there then we got this unified minds curious what we might be seeing on the inside of this one and it's really nothing to write home about um except maybe writing home with some disappointment mom it's just a tormenting spray sorry not going to college okay two more of those another sword and shield here we're hoping for something spicy on this loose card and we keep getting just reverse hollow nonsense not to i like your style like your energy like your vibe not impressed though and then one more from ultra prism Packs are kind of hard to open. Oh, what do we got? Slammed it. Slammed it. Slammed it. Don't love it. Sleeving them all up, though, anyway. Showing respect when none is deserved, honestly. Big money, no whammies. That's what I'm all about. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, save the spiciest for the last. Unified Minds, probably our spiciest pack in there. We'll go two more Sword and Shield. Base set. Uh, white code, like it, like the start, like the start on that. Ooh, there you go. All right, my room is becoming quite a mess here. Just a Friday. What am I going to do today besides clean all this crap up? Grookey, Shelder, Mawile, Ponyta, Sobble, Chimichow. And Sandaconda Hollow. Okay, okay. Hollow Sandaconda, huh? Take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. With our arms wide open, I'll put you in a sleeve. Green code card. Uh, there you go. One, two, three, four. Thanks for being here, anyone who's watching. I'm new to the live stream stuff, but I wanted to start doing some more of it. I got a couple of booster boxes coming in next week for Battle Styles. Very excited about it. That's a sick Pikachu card. Deserves a sleeve. 100 million percent. And a Lapras. All right. Some classics. So, yeah, that Battle Styles set release, I am eagerly anticipating. I've already bought the product, it's in my name. I am owed that product. I don't have to worry about going out and fighting the crowds. So I'm pumped about that. And I want to open it live together with all of you, Bug Brigade. And we can pull out the spiciest of spice and get all those alternate arts. There's six of them. I got to get all of them. That's a cool card, Grottle. I got to get all the alternate arts, especially the Urshifu VMAX alternate art cards. There's two of them. I need them both. It's very important to me and my goals, my long-term, short-term goals. All right, what are we hoping for here? Like a slow poke, side duck, all art, right? Come on, that card's fire. We all know it. What else are we hoping for? I don't know, just anything, man. It's only one pack. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. It's our last pack. Send me the vibes.
Send me the vibes. I can't get my camera to focus. There we go. Okay, it's a green code, and that green code means it's not going to be what I want it to be. But don't always get what you want. You always get more cards. Look at the cute little art on this swaddle Don't chin up. Chin up, bug boy. Chin up. Boongus. Magnemite. Fletchling. Ooh, reverse hollow Dragonite. See? There you go. You always get more cards. And then a Drapion. I like this Dragonite. He's sleepy. He's taking a chill. He's taking a nap. Swinging in the hammock. Can't be mad about that. Really. Really can't be mad about it. So, how'd we do? You might be asking. We did okay. I wouldn't have wanted to pay double triple the price for these cards you know that's the hard thing like we had fun we opened packs that's always exciting we got a couple of promo pikachus here out of our um shining fates boxes that's nice same with this poltergeist we got a pin we like that okay it's all good a couple of tins got zashin zamazenta v and then and then look at this we got some other v cards just regular v cards these are fun cards build the deck with them Best hit comes here with the Poke Kid. That's a Shining Fates full art trainer card. Great card. Really glad I pulled it. Open 23 packs. I'd expect to pull something along those lines. Chansey from, from Evolutions. Great pull. And three Baby Shinies, which these Baby Shinies are pretty liberally included into those packs. I like the ones I've gotten here, the Sobble and the Reboot. Some uh, like rookie style cards of the starter sets um so it's all good but like i don't want to pay double price for these boxes and luckily i didn't you know i'm totally happy with the purchase because i paid what the, the boxes are intended to cost um 20 bucks you know for the pikachu box um 20 bucks for a tin 14 bucks for the pin set yeah that's fair it's fair value and then you walk away with some of these pulls you feel all right about it but had I paid 40 bucks or 50 bucks for those Pikachu um, packs, I would have been disappointed. Do you feel me? Oh, sorry. We got some comments. Trouble Having trouble paying attention here. Um, do I have Battle Styles packs? No, man. Unfortunately not. Hello, hello. Thanks for the share of the code cards. Yeah, man. I'll try and keep that up. I got a lot more Battle Styles related um, product coming in next week. So you'll want to stick around and pay attention to this channel next Friday because I'll have... Um, three booster boxes hopefully in by then it's going to be over 100 code cards for battle styles if you're into playing the tcg online i'm giving those away on this channel so that's great sandicana seems like a troll card yeah i don't know anything about sandicana but uh i've seen a lot of it and if you mean troll card with the meta game i probably don't know enough to comment on that but those cards can be fun let's see here sandicana see if we can break this down a little bit power pass if this pokemon has at least one fighting energy attached this attack does 70 more damage this pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks it's actually a pretty good card huh for stage one huh that's cool um so anyway guys try not to overpay i guess is what i'm saying for your um shining fates Try not to overpay at all. I understand that uh, sometimes you just got to get your hands on something or you're not going to get a chance to open it. So if you have to, you know, if it's the only way you can get product, just hopefully it's reasonable. And I would recommend going to a card shop because they, they will charge more than what the suggested retail is, but they're also trying to kind of limit scalpers and curb scalpers and etch out some of the profits that they would have made that's part of the reason that they increase the price and at least you're supporting that card shop it's really a supply and demand issue until pokemon cards is able to keep up on the supply end this is going to continue to be a problem but i see it resolving itself before the year's up as a uh, pandemic subsides i think supply chain issues were maybe understated as far as like leading into this whole collectibles hype but we're starting to see the effects. It was just really lagging trailing effects from some supply chain disruption is what I think was happening. In addition to renewed passion, that's definitely a part of it as well. So like I said, these Pikachu boxes that I opened, these are $20 boxes. 
pay 30 if you have to. You know, somebody makes $10 off that. Just don't let them charge like 60 you know. They don't need to be making that much money. They're not providing a service that that should allow them to make that much money. Oh, yeah, you pull tons of those Santa Condas, 100% agree. Thanks for being here, Crazy Dude 185 Really appreciate you. Um, all you guys, hopefully you subscribe to the channel. Send, send those videos a like, a comment. Uh, I have some videos breaking down the Bow Style set list and the alternate arts in there. Check that out. And then I just released a video going through my top five resources for the Pokemon TCG. Online resources to help you understand what's going on with the cards, with the game, with the hobby in general. So I'll wrap this up. I really appreciate the support that exists in Pokemon community and uh, the fact that people want to watch me open packs. That's pretty slick. I got to say, that's pretty, that's pretty hype. Because uh, I like to watch me open packs. And it's just good to know that we, we have that in common. So, all right, Bug Brigade. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Like I said, check in next week. We'll open some battle styles. Peace out. We'll talk to you later.